Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. Hello, welcome uh, back to my channel uh, on uh, C++ uh, is what we're looking at today. Uh, this is a request that somebody had that I, I do a short video on uh, how to dynamically allocate two-dimensional arrays. Again, there are a few ways to do this. Uh, uh, this is one, and it's more of the traditional way to do it. Um, it's not as straightforward as you, you may say, so let me, let me get out of this here real quick and, and show you. Um, I'm going to kind of show you the way people approach it who uh, are just starting to do it and maybe think they've got an idea of how to do it. We'll call this uh, main2.cpp. And initially what they do is you know, come in here and they'll write their program, iostream, uh, using name, namespace standard, into main, avoid, And they'll say, okay, well, I've got my dynamic array here. They're really pronounced like, so I can say an integer, and I'll say it's an array, asterisk, asterisk. And there is a, uh, asterisk, asterisk, array. And there's my two-dimensional array. And they says, well, let me just do this. I'll just, I'll just do something like this. I'll just say array uh, is uh, equal to new uh, int, and I'll just put... Uh, uh, 10 rows and 10 columns. And you might think, ha ha, that does it. Well, no, it doesn't. That's not really, uh, that, that's not going to work. And the reason it's not going to work is because uh, essentially you have to do them one at a time. You have to allocate either the rows or the columns first. And then what you have to do is you have to attach a string of uh, elements to each row or each column. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get out of this. Let me do this. I'm going to say no. And I've already written the program, and we're just going to go in and take a look at it here, and I'll explain it line by line. Well, I've got my two libraries up here. I've got uh, 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 IO stream and IO manip. I'm going to do some formatting. That's why I've got IO manip right there. I've declared two constants, a max row and a max column to help mine. And to show you that this all works, I've declared two uh, functions, uh, one to populate the array to put stuff in it, and want to print the array to put stuff in it. Now you'll see that in passing the parameters, the array is passed as two asterisk points, two double pointers, and there's the array itself, A. And this is kind of equivalent to uh, passing uh, something like this, int uh, A, and then this, and let's say uh, max column. I didn't try this one, this one, but this is uh, pretty much the equivalent of it. But we're going to use this notation right here because we're going to want to be consistent in our uh, description. So this is this uh, right here is kind of equivalent to the two asterisks right there. We pass in the number of rows and columns that we're going to work with, and we also do the same thing with the print array. Well, right here we have, this is the first step, is declaration of the array itself. It's two uh, double asterisks array, and it's a two-dimensional array. You have three, you have three asterisks, so so forth. Now, this is the tricky one right here, and this one takes a little bit of an explanation. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to get uh, an allocation of memory, and I'm going to allocate the, the rows in the first element in each row. So I say array, and I say new, go out to the operating system, get me a new space, make them integers. And you'll notice that I've got an asterisk right here and the max row. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the, the rows first. All right. The asterisk means that this is a pointer to pointers. In other words, the this particular one doesn't contain integers, but what it does is it points to a, a string of things that are integers, and that's a very, very important concept first. So the first thing points us to the, uh, if it's going to be 10, then this will point us to the 10 elements. It itself doesn't contain integers. That's a very important thing to do. So you've got to have the new, the int, and then you got an asterisk that says, this is a row of integer pointers. Ah, very good. Now once we've done that, then what we want to do is 
Now we want to go off and we want to actually give the row, uh, populate the row with the individual columns. And that's what we're doing right here. We take them one at a time. And we're going to for loop. We're going to go through each row. And since this array R references a, a pointer to integers, and what we're going to do is we're going to go out and get a new bunch of integers. Uh, and the number is going to be max column. And we're going to give that to uh, array sub R. So that's going to hold the pointer to the whole row, so to speak. Columns 0 through, uh, it will be 9 in this particular case. Then we're actually going to populate the array with some numbers and then print them back out. So the crux of the discussion we're having is these three lines of code. This line of code right here that uh, gives the uh, uh, pointer to the row, each row, and then this one actually populates the row with the individual columns that hold actually the interests themselves. Then the rest of it's very, very straightforward. You're just treating it like a regular two-dimensional array. Here's the populated array. We're passing in the array and the row and column. And we to set up two for loops, one for the row and one for the column. And uh, we're just uh, referencing like we would a normal 2D array. In this case, I'm just adding the row and column numbers together and putting it in there just to put a number in there for no, no particular reason. Now I'm printing the array. And again, exactly the same thing. I have two for loops. I'm printing them out. I'm setting a width using IOMANIP library to give each number three, uh, three characters to put it in and printing out the row and column. And then after each row, uh, I print out an indel to give me to the next line. So it looks pretty good. Let's save this and let us compile it. G++ uh, O main. We're going to call it main. We are going to use the C++ library and main.cpp. It compiles clean, that's always a good sign in my mind. And we're going to run it, we're going to say main. And you can see there it populates the, the rows to the original array. Works quite well. All right, well, hey, if you uh, like this video, if you found it useful, press like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, and uh, send me suggestions, I'd love to do these. And uh, look forward to doing another one for you. Have a good day.